Okay, time to show you my Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games. So, let's get started. First, the complete box Game Boy Color Black Cartridge games. Blaster Master, Enemy Below. Dragon Warrior 1 and 2. Basically remakes of the original NES versions. 2-in-1 cartridge. My ad. Dragon Warrior Monsters. Mega Man Extreme. The portable version of the Mega Man X series. Now we all know what the X stands for. Extreme. Or extremely hard. NBA Free on Free featuring Kobe Bryant. Power Quest. Now, the cartridge only black cartridge games. Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle Free. Legend of Zelda Wink's Awakening DX. Basically, an enhanced version of the original Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. Pretty good game, by the way. Mary Kate and Ashley Pocket Planner. Shamus. Pokemon Pinball and a special. Rumble cartridge. Now, the Game Boy Color only or exclusive games. Donkey Kong Country. Basically, it's the re-release re of the Super Nintendo version. But in portable form. I think they also released it on the Game Boy Advance as well. Dragon Warrior Free. Another enhancement of the original NES Classic. Mario Tennis. This is actually an N64 transfer pack compatible game. That's compatible with the N64 version of this game. Which I happen to have as shown in one of my previous videos. I should try that sometimes. The transfer pack. Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Pretty good Zelda game. Spent countless hours on this. And I also have Oracle of Seasons. Lego Alpha Team. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. The portable version of Pokemon Puzzle League for the N64. Pretty addicting a puzzle game. Pretty addicting. As most puzzle games are. Portal Runner. Pretty different from the PS2 version. This is a 2D platformer as opposed to the 3D platformer that the PS2 version had. Razor Freestyle Scooter. Sabrina the Animated Series Spooked. Pretty fun platformer, to say the least. Shanty. This is a pretty rare game. Pretty hard to find. Even if you find one, it's probably going to be expensive. But still, it's a pretty good platformer. Pretty fun platformer. And I heard there's finally going to be a multi-part sequel for the DSi coming out. 
If it doesn't get delayed again, that is. We hope it doesn't. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. This is actually a re-release of the original NES Super Mario Bros. Except with a few enhancements. As well as a new multiplayer game. Tarzan. Tiny Two Adventures Buster Saves the Day. Now the cartridge only, Game Boy Color only games. Marble Madness. Mary Kate and Ashley Winter Circle. Tom and Jerry. Okay. Now for the Game Boy Advance games all are complete and boxed. Harold the Acrobat. Re-release of the original Super Nintendo version. Bomberman. Now the next bunch of games I'm going to show you is from the classic NES series. Basically re-releases of original NES versions. Castlevania. Donkey Kong. Excite Bike. Ice Climber. Legend of Zelda. Metroid. Pac-Man. Super Mario Brothers. CVS. Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Oh, that does it for the classic NES series. Going Sun. And I also got the sequel, Going Sun The Lost Age. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past with the Four Swords multiplayer adventure. It's another re release of the original Super Nintendo version. With a couple of enhancements, I guess. Legend of Zelda The Mimish Cap. I have yet to finish this game, surprisingly. I hope I will someday. Mario Party Advance. Metroid Fusion. Metroid Zero Mission. Both of these Metroid games are pretty good. Fantasy Star Collection. Fantasy Star is one for free in a portable form. Pokemon Ruby. Simpsons Row Rage. This is nothing like the console versions. I mean, nothing like the console versions. Oh boy. I stick with the console versions. And my only Game Boy Advance video I have here, Sonic X. Okay, that does it for my Game Boy Killer and Game Boy Advance games. Coming up next, I'm going to wrap up the portable collection with the Game Gear. So, stay tuned next time for more.